Welcome to Chabrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and I wanted to bring to your attention a breaking story. It is an MI-8 helicopter shot down in Syria, part of the humanitarian aid that was going into the people there, the Russian forces, along with the Syrian army trying to deliver aid. Ground forces have shot this helicopter down. There were two officers on board, three crewmen. Nobody knows the fate of that as of yet. We're waiting to get updates on that, and we wanted to bring that to your attention this morning. We'll update you throughout the day as things come out. Also, if you want, though, follow us on Twitter. We have set up a Twitter account, Israeli News Live at Stephen Danoon. Now, there is another one that was set up by a friend of ours. It was Israeli News Live at Steve Westman. That, uh, that was only a friend that set that up for us. Uh, I did use it a little bit because he was so kind to set it up for me, but, uh, but it's actually not my account. So I wanted to set up our own, something that we actually have control of. There's many videos put out there, copied our videos, put on other channels with outlandish titles such as the end of the world is happening on a certain date or World War III will begin by July 29th, 2016. All kinds of outlandish things that makes it appear that I am a false prophet. I don't prophesy things, guys. I don't go out there. If I were going to make a prophecy, if God spoke to me and said something, and I've had a lot of things like this happen in my life, I'll come here and I'll tell you here. Not on some other channel that's per perpetrating my image on there and saying that it's me. And believe me, we try to get YouTube to remove things like this. It is very difficult. YouTube has rejected more claims of people violating our privacy and copyright than you could ever imagine, and YouTube allows it. So I can't control everything, and, and I don't really have time, guys, to go police everybody that's out there. But I wanted you to know that we have Israeli News Live on live stream, Israeli News Live on YouTube, Israeli News Live Twitter at Stephen Denoon, and of course, Sometimes people get confused from Stephen Denoon and Stephen Benoon. Denoon is the French version that my father carries of our name. Benoon is what our name was originally, according to the records that we go back on. And I only restored it back to the Hebraic side that we have. Stephen Benoon. Check it out on Israel Return, IsraelReturns.com, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org also. Uh, but we have the story about my name, how it was changed, how it was actually given my sister's father's name at birth. Uh, my mother hid the fact of who my real father was. You can see all of that. Everything is open, very public, nothing hidden about things. Uh, another thing I want to bring out to you real quick because this has been brought to my attention. Um, it's happened to us before in the past, so let me say it again just for you guys so you're aware of it. Uh, there have been people that have sent out emails asking for money in my name as if it's me, and I don't do that. I, I, I don't care... Not even to me. This just brother Steve. I don't. I don't like asking for money in an email. I'm not going to send you. Tell you I'm stranded. I've had people send out emails saying that I'm stranded somewhere. I broke down. I need so much money. I'm not going to do that. You know, there's one brother in this on this planet that I I can pick up a phone and call him. If I had a real serious situation like that, I would call that brother there. He lives in Montana. I won't say anything else about him. He's got a precious family. If we had an emergency, never have had one, but if I had one, I could call him and it would be taken care of. But I don't do stuff like that. I'll never contact you guys personally like that. It just doesn't happen. Twice a month, we try to come on Israeli News Live here. That's when we just remind people about if they want to contribute to support this work that we're doing. That's the only place. I'm not going to do it any other way. If you go on our website, you'll see a donation button. If you want to, you have that ability. But we try to keep our expenses down. The, 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 the love that people show in supporting this work is mostly getting us to where we need to go, covering the cost to bring news that's breaking, whether it be in Europe, if we're in Israel, if we're on a fact-finding mission for the Institute of Biblical Research, which is what we started off being originally, uh, and the news stories, when we break, we go there. The time, I mean, it, it costs money to do these things. It costs money to live. We gave up, my wife being a teacher for, uh, for Lee County Schools, uh, we owned a moving business for 20 years. We were successful at that. My wife was accustomed to a nice home in America. But now we live in about 1,200 square foot. It's a little old block home here in the Czech Republic. There's no air conditioning in this house. Uh, we did buy one little portable unit for the office because of all the lighting. 
Yes, it gets hot here, just like say Ohio, 90 degree weather, things like that, humidity, everything gets miserable. We persevere because the thing is, is we're, we're concerned about how we spend the money that God has allowed us to, or has entrusted to us. So we are careful, we are cautious. I know there's a lot of scandal going along about different people that have, what they have spent on homes, et cetera, things like that. We're just, we're not gonna do that. And, and, I, and I'm not gonna fault other people. I don't know what their expenses are, what part of the world they live in. I know there are parts of the world that are extremely expensive to live in. Uh, I don't have a lot of children. We have two children, my father-in-law, so there's five of us. So we do have to kind of cramp into one little small house, but it's nothing fancy. Uh, we drive an 11 year old car here, but we did that. We bought a car that we could pay cash for because we didn't want to have to make payments. Uh, we were leasing a car and we didn't want to have that burden to have to deal with another payment. My, my wife is extremely cautious about how we spend money. Uh, and even hopefully, because she is a citizen here, we're going to try to buy a home eventually. But what we will do even then is we have been looking at repos. Uh, bank repos, unfinished houses even, something that we could finish ourselves again so it would be cheaper and that would also lower our payment because we rent this house uh, even as we rented our home in America. We rent the house we live in now to save money. So just want to kind of give you some of these insights here guys. And I know it probably doesn't matter a lot to most people that are watching but you know, people are always curious about how things are going on and how things are done. So we wanted you to be aware of some of these things. Check us out though on Twitter. We're going to be posting a lot. We've already been posting a lot of news that's breaking, especially when we don't have time to come on and just do a quick news feed. We're putting these things up on Twitter, one right after the other there. Uh, and again, you already know the other channels, Israeli News Live, live stream Israeli News Live here on YouTube. Share these things with your friends. Guys, the only reason I ask for people to share these things and to get it out to as many people as you possibly can is because I believe that God lays things on my heart for the world to know. And the only way that people will ever know is if we share it and we continue to share it all over the world to people as rapid as, as we can. You, you know, who I, most of you that know me, that even know me personally, the way my heart is, I'm very sincere in what I believe and what I say. I don't just say things to tickle people's ears. God knows that. You guys know that. Many of you have said things that didn't make you very happy. You know, I tell you from my heart what I believe is right. And I don't sugarcoat it. I just tell you straight up. Anyway, thank you. God bless you. And uh, again, remember, we're not sending you out private emails or nothing like that. Uh, in fact, I'm always behind on emails as it is. So I don't have time to be doing the things that are going on. I hate to say it, guys, I really do, but I just, I just, I see so much happening right now on the internet. So many scandals, so many lying things and stuff, and it really concerns me. And no, I don't drink, don't smoke, never have in my entire life. I think when I was a kid one time, I tried a cigarette as a teenager, and, and, and when, even as a teenager, my friends had drank and stuff. You know, would try to get me to drink. I tried it one time, didn't like it, hated it. Taste of beer to me was the nastiest thing. And I'm not condemning nobody that likes to do that. It's up to you. You know, I, I believe, though, that God wants us a clean vessel for Him. I just tell you straight up. So I don't do those things. I don't have any of these habits or, or any of these things. I, I, you find out other preachers here and there, the next thing you know, they got all kinds of issues going on. Uh, no, we're just trying to stay as clear and pure as we possibly can and serve God and bring you the message of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Shalom, I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Good evening, or good day. It's not even, it's morning here. Morning for you guys, especially in the United States. Shalom.